Hi, this is Claire Pratia from Verity Papery, and this video is the second video in a series on my stamp design process. If you haven't seen the first video, um, this will be a quick overview. I have designed some stamps for Hero Arts, and I've gotten some comments, interest, questions about what that's like. So a real quick disclaimer, I guess, is that I am not on the Hero Arts design team. This, I illustrate for them on a freelance basis. And when I say illustrate, that means that I don't do any of the technical stuff. I don't even know how to do any of the technical stuff. Um, I don't know, let's say, how many images or how much space you have to have between images on a photopolymer clear set. I don't know how to format the illustrations for rubber stamps. I don't know any of that stuff. I just do illustrations. There's a little bit of tech stuff on the illustration side, though. And so... I'm not going to actually talk about that very much in this video, but hopefully in my next video if I have enough interest. In this video, I'm going to be talking about illustrations, more of the actual drawing illustration process, the inspiration, I guess, for three stamps. Well, I guess for about, I don't know, maybe nine stamps if you count the mini ones. Um, but for some little uh, critter stamps that I did for their Valentine catalog and then for their spring catalog. So all of these critters kind of stemmed from the same brainstorming session. I was thinking of Valentine ideas and I have a, a piece of paper or maybe two pieces of paper of notebook paper that are just covered with a bunch of different images and sentiments that are really all over the board and I don't really know how I got onto the giraffe but anyway like I said it was all over the board. Um, I thought it would be cute if there were some drafts and their necks were intertwining and in between there was a little heart. So that's where I started with the draft, and then I thought it would be cute if there were some elephants, if their trunks were intertwining. And I was, you know, kind of thinking of other African animals that somehow I could intertwine their limbs, basically. Um, so anyway, I only drew one, you know, one side of the critters, the loving critters, just because... I don't know if you've ever tried to draw someone's face, but at least for me, it's really hard to make their eyes symmetrical. I mean, I don't draw faces that often, but it's just hard for me to do symmetrical stuff sketch-wise. Um, so I figured that I could always just take this into the program and then um, just duplicate it there, flip it, and that way it would be symmetrical, but I would, you know, add a couple things so they're not identical. And so anyway, while I was on the African uh, line of thinking, <laughs> um, I saw some animals that were cuddling. I, I sketched this really cute pair of uh, little lion cubs cuddling. I didn't really make the cut. Um, <laughs> I really liked those ones, though. But these meerkats, they're not quite cuddling, but kind of along the wild critter theme. And these meerkats, oh, they were the darndest thing. But... Um, anyway, so I started sketching them, and I'm going to just go ahead and let that sketch process kind of play now. So one of the questions that I got in my last video was, do I design the sentiments or do I come up with them? And it really depends on the stamp. For the little sentiment stamps that fit in between the necks of the giraffe here, I had written out the with or uh, the love you sentiment. And Laura, the creative director at Hero Arts, she really liked that. So she asked me if she could, if I could do a couple other short little sentiments, Valentine theme in the same style and send it to her. So I did a couple different versions of a bunch of different sentiments and she ended up liking a lot of them so that's why there's a bunch of little images. I don't always design the sentiments with the clear stamp sets. Oftentimes I will use some kind of, I'll use a font. I mean I, I usually like to put some of my handwriting or hand, hand lettering in but oftentimes I like to use a font too just in case you know someone's not crazy about my handwriting. I'm not always crazy about it either. Um, and then sometimes I don't, I mean, not all the stamp sets have my handwriting in them, but usually I will put some suggestions 
And oftentimes the design team at Hero Arts, they'll, they'll at least take a couple of them. They might rearrange them a little bit just uh, to fit maybe the stamp set better. Um, but it's kind of a collaboration between the two just to see what works. So sometimes with the sentiments and even the images and things might get resized or uh, taken out just to accommodate for these technical specifications. And oftentimes I'll give them little extra images too, so if they have enough space, they can put that in there. It really just depends on the stamp set. So I'm trying to keep this video on the shorter side, but I just had to put in real quickly that these meerkats drove me crazy. I made so many tiny little edits to them. I couldn't figure out if their arms looked more natural or awkward in this one position or not. If their tails should be longer, if their feet should be longer. I don't really have that many problems with the elephant and the giraffes, but maybe it's because subconsciously I see a lot more giraffes and elephants, you know, illustrations just everywhere you go. Like they're pretty popular animals, baby clothing, baby stuff. It's everywhere. But meerkats aren't, so maybe subconsciously I wasn't as familiar with their form, and that's why it was so hard for me. But that's one of the more illustration sides. I know some people are interested more in the technical aspects, and I'll try maybe to do that in the next video since I'm talking more about the illustration aspects in this one. But yeah, sometimes these meerkats probably took me longer than doing the the giraffes and the elephants together and I'm still not entirely happy <laughs> with the way they turned out but you win some you lose some. So these are all the finished images and if you have any questions or comments then leave them in the comment box on YouTube or you could go to my blog where I'm going to be posting this and yep I'm pretty just pretty much just doing this based off interest. I didn't have like a ton of views on my last video, but I got more feedback on it than a lot of my videos. So maybe there's less people interested in it, but if you guys actually say something about it, I will be more likely to make more videos about it. So otherwise these take a little bit of time to make just to edit everything. Um, otherwise, you know, I can be making cards <laughs> instead of editing videos or I can be making stamps. So yep, just, let me know if you have any questions or comments, and thanks for watching. Have a great day. God bless. Bye.